last time I saw this land of was, it was a wonderful experience. It always is. Every day here begins with the crow of the cockapoodle, a strange fowl that's part rooster, part poodle. Think of a chicken that chases cars. <laughs> Looks like a rude awakening for our residents of was this morning. should put a muffler on her mouth. Right on! Let's buzz! Ah! Hoppo, this singing has got to stop. I mean, you gotta save your voice. But, Bumbleline, I've got to practice for the play. Tomorrow's opening night. I just hope I'm ready. Do you think my voice will move the audience? If they haven't moved already. <laughs> Hoppo, with your voice, you'll probably bring down the house. In that case, I better keep practicing. Yo, Remy Fasolati! There's an old superstition in the theater that if the dress rehearsal goes badly, the opening night will be a success. Sounds like we got a smash hit on our hands. Cinderwazzle, Cinderwazzle, it's a party, Cinderwazzle. Have a good time, but remember, after midnight, it's all over. Cinderwazzle, Cinderwazzle, it's a party, Cinderwazzle. <laughs> well, what do you think, Butterbear? I've never heard a voice quite like that before. Yeah, you're sure starting out real big, Hoppo. Really? I rewrote the lyrics myself. Would you like me to sing it again? No, that was too much. I mean, no. Um, let's go on to the next scene, the one where you fly back to Fairy Godmotherland. Oh, good. I love that scene. It gives me a chance to get off my feet a little. Places, everyone. Let's begin. Remember, Cinderwuzzle, be back by midnight, or your carriage turns back into a punkinado. And lots of luck riding one of those contraptions home. Now I must be off, like a bird in the sky. Now off, now off, now off I fly. I'm dead. Like a bird in the sky, now off. This fairy dust just isn't happening. Yes, yes, I'm off. I soar through the air with the greatest of ease. Hold it, cut. I'm afraid I'm going to have to recast your part, Hoppo. But why? Why? Because you're... You're too big for the part. You mean I'm too big a star for this little theater? Well, let's just say someone like you should be on the widescreen. 
Very well. I will graciously bow out of Cinderwazzle in order to fulfill my destiny. Wait, Hoppo. Where are you going? Off to where a big star like me really belongs. To a place where a top banana gets top filling, where the cream rises to the top. I knew it. She's off to the mall shop again. <laughs> I'm off to Hollywood. I'm off for Hollywood. I'll be a star no matter what I does. Where all the people will be so enamored of all my glamour. There'll be no stopping me now. Cause Hoppo's hits in Hollywood town. We can't let Hoppo go to Hollywood. She'll be a flop. Yeah, why should she be a flop there when she can be a big flop right here? Oh, we can't tell her that, Rhino. But we've got to talk her out of this. Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo, da doo da da doo Hoppo, we came over to... Wish me goodbye. How nice. But I really haven't time for a farewell party. Will you dears help me with my bags? The Hollywood's bus will be leaving soon. These are the bare essentials, but they'll have to do. Let's go. All aboard for Wazerly Hills. Wazamunga and Hollywoods. I guess this is it. But you all must promise to visit me in Hollywoods. Uh, shouldn't we tell her? Tell me what? That you can't go. You'll never make it in Hollywoods. What do you mean by that? Well, uh, uh, life is tough out there. Yes, I know. All those hot lights, the endless movie premieres. Signing autographs for fans all day long. Long nights at parties, mingling with stars, lounging by the pool of my estate. Yes, it's hard work, but someone has to do it. Yeah, with my help, we can do it. Holly was, here I come. Gee, Hoppo, we'll sure miss you. Yes, I know, but don't worry. I won't be like those other big stars who forget all the little people they left behind. Hey, don't look now, big star, but the big bus just left you behind. <laughs> what? Hey, wait for me! I guess now it's not a question of whether Hoppo makes it in Hollywood, but whether she makes it to Hollywood. So, this must be Hollywood, the movie capital of was. You know, hearsay has it that glitter glows the brightest here, and hundreds of would-be movie stars arrive every day, hoping to break into showbiz. I thought I was supposed to be a star. Here, let me help. These westerns are murder. Look, Moozle, a real five star. May I have your autograph? Well, sure. No one's ever asked me for mine before. Aren't you a big time star? Well, no, I'm just a stand in for a star. Well, I better get back. The big stampede scene is next. This is it, Moozle. A movie studio, and it's time for my screen test. Ah, tell Squirrely McLam. Ah, she's got the part. Ah, who are you? Your next star. I'm ready for my screen test. Where do I sign my exclusive contract? of him. Oh, Moosel. If only Mr. Parafox could see me act. I know he'd make me a star. No more westerns. I quit. This is my chance. Ready or not, Hollywood, here I come. Bring in the stand-in. Ready when you are, Mr. Director. What's my motivation? In this scene, you limp across the street. Got that? 
Gotcha. Get my Oscar ready. How the wars was won, stampede scene, roll them. You've got to take it to make it. Who'd you get the card from, Bumble Lion? Hoppo, listen. Dearest Bumble Lion, Holly Was is incredible. Just replaced a major star in a Western. My best to all, Holly Was Hoppo. Wow, things are really hopping for Hoppo. Gee, maybe she had hidden talent. Yeah, well, it had a lot of room to hide in. <laughs> Moosel, did you see them? I'll bet they're filming a big musical in there. I've got to be in that movie. It's too late. They're already shooting. Maybe next time. Moosel, never put off till tomorrow what you can sneak into today. Moosel, I need you to help button me up. Okay, but I'll need you to suck in tight. Ah! This darn costume must have shrunk in the wash. There, I knew it'd be easy. Achoo! Hurry, Mosul, hurry. They're starting without me. from Hoppo. What'd she have to say? Just made a musical film. Everyone's clamoring for me. Hey, there she is. Get her. Quick, in here. We're tied in here till things cool off. The explosive charges are ready, Mr. Seal Bird. Roll the special effects shot. Uh-oh. <laughs> What's happening? Either it's a reaction to the taco burger I had for breakfast, or we're in Steven Spielberg's new space movie. I, I hope it's the taco burger. I can't take that chance. Hey, who put her in the shop? Anything from Hoppo? Yeah, here it is. Just finished Sealbird's new space movie. Having a blast. Wish you were here. Gee, it must be incredible fun being a star. I wish we were in Hollywood too. Mmm. You ready to give it up yet, Hoppo? Never. All I need is one lucky break. Come on. Ah, now this is the big finale. It'll make a big splash at the box office, or my name is in Peter Parapox. Ah, action! Somehow, I don't think that's the break Hoppo was hoping for. For the last time, someone get that scene-stealing, hair-brained hippo out of my studio! Oh! I think it's time to call it quits. I think it's time to call another studio. Achoo! But first, I've got to get into something dry. There's nothing worse than a hopopotamus with a head cold. Achoo! How exciting! A telegram from Bumble Lion. Dear Hoppo, we're all so glad you're such a success in Hollywood. In fact, 
since we're your biggest fans, Ella Rue, Butter Bear, Rhinoki, and I are coming out to see you at the studio tomorrow. Hmm. Uh-oh. Looks like Hoppo's really up against the wall this time. Now then, where were we? Ah, yes. Hoppo was up against the wall. Do you think this will work? It's got to. I can't let all my friends know I'm a flop. We have to convince them I'm a star. A big star. Here they come. Okay, remember, just do everything the way I told you. Well, look who's here. Hey, Musil, is that you? Where's Hoppo? In the bush. Uh, I mean, uh, she's bushed. Boy, they got her making movies day and night. Oh, can we see her? Impossible. She has a record to cut and a pizza burger commercial to make before tonight's premiere. But we drove all the way from home just to see her. Why don't you go on the Hollywood bus tour? It'll take you to all of Papo's famous landmarks. Good idea. See you later, Musil. Okay, Musil, let's move. Welcome to the famous Hollywood Wax Museum. These lifelike wax figures of well-known movie stars are a big attraction. And here, on our right, is that illustrious star? Hey, look, it's Hoppo. Hoppo? What happened to Squirrely McWham? Oh, oh I, I can't believe how much it looks like her. You think so? I don't think it's nearly big enough. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. We'll never get away with this, Hoppo. We have to. Come on. Here they come. You know what to do, Moosel. And over here, we got the beautiful home of that great international star. Hoppo Bottomus. Let's hear it for Hoppo. Are you sure this is a good idea? Of course it is. This should really convince them I'm a star. Well, quick, stick your head in. Here they come, Moosel. Hide! Look, everybody. That must be Hoppo's new movie. Wow! She really is a star. Where do we go now? The studio and fast. Oh, no. I'm stuck. I've got to get back to the studio before that bus does, or I'll be ruined. I've got an idea. This ought to do it. What? What are you doing? Don't worry, Hoppo. I'll have you out in a second. Brilliant, huh? Come on, let's go. And here we have the Power of Fox Studio. Oh, Hoppo makes her movies here. I wonder what movie she's making now. Probably Son of Blubber. <laughs> oh, was it? We're too late. And we can't get in this way with Dog Gorilla over there. We'll have to climb the wall. Here, I'll push you up. <laughs> now, what about me? Hoppo, you're in luck. I just came up with another brilliant idea. Climb on. I'll lift you over. I better floor it. Yay! What? What do you mean? Someone changed the billboard. We don't have a star named Hoppopotamus. You again. Security! Ah, ah. Say, Mr. Minabor, when can we see that famous star, Hoppopotamus? There's that name again. Who is she? 
look! There she is! Don't let her get away! Ah! Ah! Oppo! Oppo! It's us! Sorry! Can't talk now! Those autograph hounds are after me again! Come on, gang! And stay out! Ah! Yeah! Oppo, are you all right? Uh-oh! Looks like the gig's up. Oppo, what happened? Why did they throw a star like you out of the studio? I guess I have to confess, I'm not a big star. But what about all those big parts you landed? The only thing I've landed is on this sidewalk. I wanted you to think I was a star to impress you. But Hoppo, you don't have to impress us. We're your friends no matter what you are. Yeah, even if you are the biggest flop in Hollywood. Oh, who needs showbiz with friends like you? Well, we're back in Woods. But what's Hoppo doing back in showbiz? They're doing King Conky, one of my personal favorites. But where's Hoppo? Who needs Hollywood when I've got fans like you? Well, I guess Hoppo just didn't fit in Hollywood. But here in Woods, it looks like she's found a part she can fit into. Or at least a costume. <laughs> <laughs> 